motor, it's a motor let M701 it's out of an L29 Russian trainer. So actually made in Czechoslovakia. Came out of a running aircraft. I guess it was just at the end of its service life. And picked up by a guy locally, left outside, full water. It's kind of ridiculous that you would actually do that, let it get wet. But I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can get it going. It's 1960 pounds of thrust, but 2,500 horsepower when it goes, if it goes. There were a couple of things that didn't make me too happy, but I mean, the price is right, so check this out. I'll show you what happened. It was in a nice big container, and they popped the top off it, I don't know how long ago. He said a few months, but I don't know. You never know. And here, this part was exposed. You can see this right here. This little part was exposed with a bearing, and water obviously got right into there, which is not a good thing. This is actually where the starter is right in here. There's an electric starter motor, it's 28 volts. Those are the cables. It gets the uh, single stage turbine fired up, gets it rolling, and then uh, there are little, there's a sparking mechanism on it. These are the, where are they? Right here. Kind of like spark plugs almost. Inside the back of the turbine that ignites the fuel. It has everything on it. It has a fuel pump, has the oil pump, there's an accelerator pump. I don't know anything about jet turbines. I've just been reading the manual. I managed to find a manual on it. It still has oil in it. The oil isn't contaminated. That's a good thing. But you know what? I have no idea if this baby's going to go. Everybody's asking me what I'm going to do with it on social media, on Facebook and everything. And I have a few plans. I know it might look good in the back of the Land Cruiser if we can get it going. Maybe do some snowballing with it. But other than that, I don't think you really need a reason to buy a jet engine. I mean, you just have to buy it if you have that opportunity. So I did, and I bought it. Pretty darn cool, but I want to get it spooling up. So I'm going to start pulling stuff off this and uh, see what we can, what we can get uh, running. I've put a couple of emails into people about what needs to be done to, you know, for the proper process of getting this thing going. So hopefully they'll respond if you guys are looking at this. Let me know uh, if you know anybody who knows anything about this engine and maybe they could help me out a little bit. But that's it. The Power Mods jet engine. I'm going to build a little stand for it. And that'll be that. Okay, let's get this thing apart. I want to see. I want to see what the starter motor looks like on it. If, uh, I have a feeling it was all, uh, it's all going to be full of water, like everything else. Now this is one of those things where I'm going to probably really want to make sure I don't lose any parts for it. Don't know how easy it is to get a part for a 1967 Czechoslovakian jet engine. I have looked them up online, you can get the whole jet. Not airworthy for about twenty grand, twenty to fifty thousand bucks. If you want top of the line, then you're looking at a lot more. It's like anything else, right? Get it? Just start tearing into it. <laughs>
electric engine and repair shop. So I'm pretty sure they don't have one of these sitting on the shelf. I'm going to go with the limb. Uh, nonetheless, I'm pretty sure she can probably get this thing going. You think the electric motor doesn't work? Yeah. Look at all the corrosion. The water's are just sitting in there. I don't even want to put power to it. I'll pop it out and see if I can freehand it or something. That's kind of. It must be spinning if this spins, don't it? No, it's uh, it disengages. Okay. It has a little mechanism in there that shuts it off. Like, I mean, all these things are like just any spinning. typical starter. Any starter. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, same kind of deal. I'm guessing it has like a throttle cable. It has a throttle. Cable. I believe that's the throttle port. There's two. Then there's this one here, but this one is wired. Or it doesn't move until something. Well, this might be the accelerator pump. I can't. I don't know. I believe this is the problem. <laughs> and I know it has to be started in the uh, idle position. Yeah, that may not go over so well. Yeah. I don't think those two straps could hold that motor. What do you think, Kai? Yeah. I think this needs to go on the cruiser. I think I have to go on a custom made snowmobile. I'm with that. Well, I'm thinking about a, a, a nice dry sled for the river. Clear a spot off.